All right, guys, welcome back. It's been a while since we had a Live and Large with MB Gal vlog. But anyways, we thought we'd take you along. Where are we going today, guys? The Apple, apple orchard. orchard. Yeah, we're going to the Apple Orchard. So come along with us and join us. It's going to be fun. See ya. Yep, so we're quickly approaching the Bates Family Orchard. It's located at 1222... NB-850 in Kirstedville, New Brunswick, Canada, and it's right along the Belle Isle Bay or on the water. It's beautiful down here. You can't really see. Oh, it's you can't really see because of the trees here. But anyways, there's a big bay here, like a big huge river there, and it's beautiful. The leaves are starting to change color, and it's harvest time, so a lot of people are selling things out of their gardens and so we decided we would come down and pick some apples we used to go to a place down uh memram cookway in new brunswick but uh verger bellyville but this is a fun spot for the kids because it's closer to saint john and it has like photo opportunities and stuff like that so they have uh you picks for they used to have corn they have flour you pick they have vegetables and fruit all kinds of things but today we're going to see about the apples in particular the honey crisp i uh told brady i was going to make him some caramel apples so i think i'll do that and some apple pies for um thanksgiving i'll make a couple of those so it should be approaching here close on the right hand side. I don't know if there'll be much of a crowd because it says Belle Isle Bay bed and breakfast there. Um, it's uh, Truth and Reconciliation Day for the Native Americans so it's kind of a holiday in New Brunswick, Canada but uh, hopefully it won't be overly picked over or overly busy. We got uh, all the kids in the back, plus the little girl I babysit, Sophia. So, looks like there's the you pick for the pumpkins and the squash. There's people there. It's pretty cool. And they got the hay and all their workers there. And here's the orchards here. I'll let you see a picture of the sign so you can see what it looks like as we come in. But it's called the Bates Family Orchard. And they got all kinds of different types of apples. Anyways, it says honey crisp you pick today. So apples for sale. So we'll come in and we'll take you along for the ride, guys. They got a beautiful corn maze here and a photo op. And then they got a stand to weigh the stuff. And they got hay bales for the kids to jump up on. A photo op here and all through the hills is all the apples. Look at the puppies. We should have brought our puppies. Look at the dogs over there, guys. Up to the right. Look at the puppies. So we'll take our take some photos of you guys and look at all the families picking apples. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, they did good. They got a good crop this year. So we'll take some special family photos they always have a different display every year All right, you want to go on Dad's sho shoulders. Well, we'll have to if see. We have to get the apple. We're gonna go check this sign out. I think it says it's only Honey Crisp available currently. Or after, or after honey crisp. And I think we'll walk a ways down because usually, if you walk far down, there's more apples. So it says directions: open for Honey Crisp only. Pay attention to the signs. And there's all the pricing, and there's corn mazes. So, why don't we walk 
further down. That's where you weigh them and you pay. So let's go way down here. And go all the way down. It's 250 a pound, so it wouldn't take long, would it? Because these apples are giant too. They're not just like little tiny. Yeah, like Isn't that sweet? They got a cute family. When you pick an apple, it's placed in your bag and wait on the way out. Please be respect our trees. And no throwing of the apples. Aw, Chase, Amber, and Kyle. Super cute. So there's signs at the top. It says one, two, three. See how they say honey crisp? Now he said they're only picking honey crisp currently. So we'll keep walking further down. And see there's the bay, guys. It's beautiful. We'll keep walking further down because the people that are not able to or don't want to, they take all the apples in the first. And then what happens? There's only the good ones at the end, like, at, at the top of the tree. Look, look at this tree. Please take care not to break branches while picking. Leave the unripe fruit on the trees and have fun. All right. So let's, we got aisles and aisles and aisles. So these are honey crisp. That's ambrosia. There's a few, few aisles of ambrosia here. And here's honey crisp. So we'll probably just go up. I see some good ones. There's a bunch of people up there. Let's see here. Look at all of them at the close to the top, eh? Wow. That's why I climb on daddy's shoulders. See if you zoom in. All the good ones are close to the top. So if you can't reach them, Dad sends me up here, there on his shoulders. On his shoulders, and eh? And he gets the good ones way up high. Beautiful. We'll walk kind of towards the end. Aren't those gorgeous? Yeah, just beautiful. We'll have to taste one or two before we before we go out, hey guys. I don't know how they keep the worms off them. They must use pesticides or it must be a certain type of seed because whenever I had apples growing up, man, were they ever wormy. You wanna go up there to get those ones, do ya? All right, Dad. What? You think you can lift them up so you can try to, there's a beautiful one right here even. Look at this. You Look at that, guys. I see I one. Can't. I see a perfect I can't one. Here's it. one. Don't pick any off the ground. I'm going to hold that no, open for mom. All right. And you want the biggest ones and the reddest ones. Right, guys? Is this one good? Yeah, it's good enough, I guess. Is this one good? Whatever you want to use it for. Here, can you put that in? Isn't that beautiful? It's like a logo. And put these in, okay? Oh, I was just climbing the hill. Here, Dad. All right, so they want to get on your shoulder, so Nevaeh's going to have to hold the bag. He wants to get up there. Hold the other bag too, Vea. Uh, I don't know if I can lift him. Yeah, just hold off on picking them, because we're going to see if he can get the good ones. I don't know if he can either, but... Uh, hold it closer. Oh my gosh, no. Daddy's having a hard time lifting you. You're getting too big. Getting too big, bud, to lift. I know. Thank you. He's just paying right more? now. Yeah. Uh, she's doing her stuff. Okay, perfect. Alright, that's 
smile, Sophia. <laughs> smile again. She's in there pretty good, eh? Oh, it is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. End it. Yep. Yeah. Did it just find that, guys? That was good, eh? Yeah. It was easy picking, too, wasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't all heavily picked over, and they were delicious, weren't they? Yeah. I think that was the big thing, not being overly picked over. So you could get apples that were lower and that would be uh, fairly good. The kids would have a good experience. Yeah, it's hard when they got to get up on your shoulders. Brady did get up on my shoulders. But anyways, we'll take you along with us later. We're going to try to make some caramel apples. So Brady requested that this year to make some caramel apples. So the kids and I are going to try that out. But overall, we're really pleased with a uh, little adventure to Bates Family Orchard. And we'll show you what we do with them. Hey guys, so we're going to make some caramel apples. So I'm going to do enough for like eight. And hey guys, so we're going to make some caramel apples with the apples that we got. Um, the first step you're going to do is you're actually going to wash off your apples. It says in about um, 10 seconds per apple. But the point of it is, is this burner was hot. Sorry. Um, the point of it is is that it has a wax on it so you want to wash the wax off and dry them um and then i just took um cake top sticks and just put it in there and now i'm going to start with my caramel sauce and it says it takes one and three quarter cups of cream so i'm going to put that in there hard for me to video and look at the recipe at the same time. I don't have it memorized, but um, it says, and then the corn syrup, brown sugar, butter, and salt in a three-quart heavy saucepan. And do not turn the temperature up or down. Keep it at medium the entire time. So I'm going to heat this up, put it on medium heat, and I'm going to do that and then I'll come back to you in a minute when this gets dissolved. So I have all the ingredients in. I have the butter, the cream, the sugar. I did put vanilla in and salt and I'm now I had added in the white light corn syrup and now I'm trying to bring this up to a boil and once that comes to a boil then it says to not stir it anymore and it says to leave it until 235 Fahrenheit with a candy thermometer which I don't unfortunately have. Um, 10 to 15 to 20 minutes in that range and not to stir it during that time. Now during this time it says to take like a pastry brush or some kind of brush and brush the sides so the crystals um, don't develop on the sides. So I'm going to do that and I'll bring this to a boil and then I'll come back at you when it's boiling and show you what it looks like. All right, man, I wish I had smell-o-vision for you guys. It smells amazing. So this is the homemade caramel sauce for the caramel apples that we're going to be dipping, and then I'll be coating them in M&Ms. So I did add brown sugar. I'm not sure if it's going to make a difference. I think it'll make a better butterscotchy caramel t flavor, but we'll see. Um, I also got the slow cooker going here. It's just a, a fall day here. You're supposed to just kind of wipe the sides of this down you don't want any with water you don't want any crystals it says forming um, it's kind of hard to do this while videoing but one-handed but anyways um, I've been just scraping the sides it says to leave it for 15 to 20 minutes so I just don't want this to burn. I do have it on medium heat here. I have my my grandmother's um, 
old, old, very, very thick handed down pot to cook with. I want to check and see if I can tell what the name of it is. Uh, I have another piece here, but I think it's called Everywhere. It's, um, I think it's melted off. Yeah, Everywhere it's called. But it's very thick, so it's kind of really good for doing, um, good for doing candy in. I also got croissants in the oven. Those look like they're done, so I'm going to take those out. There's always something going here, guys. All right, so these for supper are done, so I'm going to move them over here while that caramel boils. I figured I'd have some nice homemade croissants for supper. We're having also a roast dinner, so it's a beautiful day on this holiday in New Brunswick, Canada for Truth and Reconciliation Day. These days I just feel like making a soup or just making some home cooked hearty meals so Brady with this fall has requested to have I'll just set that there um, he requested to have caramel apples he wanted them at the fair he got them at the fair but then he was determined that he wanted more so Mama's coming through and making some homemade ones. So, I think I told you before, but there's a wax normally on these. So you're supposed to cook them for 10 seconds in um, hot water. It kind of looks like it cooked them, but I don't know. Maybe not. But anyways, I sprayed, sprayed some um, parchment paper here. And once the caramel's done, you're going to dip it. And then you can roll it in the uh, peanuts, M&M's, whatever. I'm going to give it to them for school and our school is peanut free. So I'm going to roll it in the M&M's and put it in there and then put it somewhere it's cold to chill. So when it's all done and the caramel still has a while yet to go. So 15 minutes usually. So we'll come back at you and show you the finished product. So, so the caramel, I think I cooked it a little bit too long. It tastes really good. It didn't burn or anything. But you can see it was starting to get a little bit thick. But um, that's what happens when you don't have a candy thermometer. But look how yummy they look. What do you think? They look delicious. Oh, you want to get in the M&Ms. Don't put any more on there. I'm putting some on the bottom and then some on the top. So some of them. So I'm going to put these in the fridge to cool. But I did taste the caramel and it tastes amazing. So it didn't burn. So I'll include the recipe also for this below so you can kind of get a gist of what to do. But I think having the candy thermometer, uh, big savings, um, just so you don't have to guess, right? So anyways, thanks for joining us today at the Apple Orchard with the girls and me and Stuart and Brady. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time on Living Large and Then Big See ya.